Why, hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to the Sacramento State Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. And we are in the Sweet 16 now, taking on number two Michigan State in the South Region semifinals. This is undoubtedly going to be our toughest matchup so far in the tournament. After beating Oregon pretty handedly, we are facing one of the best teams in college basketball this year. They're 27 and eight on the season, including 12 and six in the Big Ten, which was definitely one of the tougher conferences in college basketball this season. But this Sacramento State roster has definitely been battle tested over the past few years. And even with some of the younger players, they were battle tested this year as well. We'll just have to see what happens today. Michigan State starters are Tim Adelike, Chris Sanders, Ronnie Smallwood, Brett Humphreys and Marcus Boxler. Sacramento State has Hornsby, Foster, Bills, Leno, and Gibson as usual. So here we go, a trip to the Elite Eight on the line in this one. Sacramento State with the ball here. Gibson gonna get blocked. Humphreys with a the block there. And now Michigan State in transition. Sanders just gonna pull it from the wing and he drains the three. And the Spartans draw first blood. So now here's Michigan State in transition again. This time Smallwood with the assist. Adelike gets the bucket there to make it 5-0. And then Humphreys gets fouled on the play. That's Leno picking up his first foul of the game. Humphreys would make both free throws to make it a 7-0 run to start off this game. But then here is Gibson getting right back, getting a bucket. He would miss the free throw, but it's 7-2 now. And then Boxler right to the rack, getting the bucket. Makes it a 9-2 game. Now Foster going to pass inside the Gibson, who's going to get the layup. So it's 9-4 now. And here's Boxler getting fouled on the layup. That's gonna be Gibson picking up his first foul of the game. Boxler would miss both free throws, but it's still nine to four. And then Gibson gonna pick up his second foul. And Sacramento State really can't afford to be without him, but he's gonna have to go to the bench for a little bit at least. So 11 to four now, three minutes into the game and Bill Queen just throwing it down over the Michigan State defense. Makes it a five point game. And then a few misses there, Queen with the rebound. Now here's Foster in transition, pulling up from the wing. And he makes it a two point ball game with his first three of the game, or his first points in general. And it's 11 to nine. And then a turnover there, Boxler with the steal. Smallwood gonna dunk it down to make it a four point game. And now Smallwood gonna pass to Humphreys. He gets fouled, and now Leno's in foul trouble. So both the starting bigs for Sacramento State have to go to the bench early on. It's 15 to nine now. And Hornsby gonna throw it away. Haney with the steal. And then the bucket by Sanders makes it an eight point game. So early on, Michigan State looking dominant. Queen can't handle the flashy pass by Hornsby. And then Smallwood gonna throw it down yet again to make it a 10 point game. Turkstein gonna throw it away. Now Adelike gonna go back, gets the layup. Makes it a 12 point game. Sacramento State has to bring a timeout. So the Horn is coming out really flat early on in this game. Queen gonna back down the defender and the turnaround jumper goes in, gets the friendly roll. Now a nine point game, Queen would miss the free throw. Randy Lambier gets the rebound and puts it back in for the Hornets to make it a seven point game. And then they're just gonna throw it away. Queen gonna pass it up to Hornsby. He can't get the bucket to go. Lambier gets the rebound and puts it back in to make it a five point game. So Sacramento State closes the gap a little bit, but now Sanders gonna lay it up and he makes it a seven point game. Sacramento State burns the timeout midway through the first half. So here's Michigan State again. Rogers is gonna get a friendly roll off the mid range jumper to make it a nine point game. So now here's the pass to Turk sign. He's gonna get the mid range jumper to go to make it a seven point game. Now under five minutes to go in the half, Foster tries to pass it inside the queen, but Adelike picks his pocket once again. The third steal of the game for Adelike, and he gets the bucket. So now a nine-point game, pass inside to Noel. He's gonna get fouled by Queen, and he gets the bucket. So all these bigs for Sacramento State just racking up fouls today. Queen gonna miss the hook, tips it back in though to make it a 10-point game. So now three and a half to go, Michigan State with a 30 to 20 lead over the Hornets. And now here's Rogers pulling up from the wing, gets the three to go. And after four free throws by Michigan State, it's now a 17 point game. Sanders gonna pass inside to Noel. He's gonna get the bucket to go. 
Michigan State with a 40-22 lead at the half. Sacramento State with probably one of their worst halves of the season, if not the entire series. 29% from the field for Sac State, 10 turnovers. A very uncharacteristic first half for Sacramento State, like I said. As Sanders leads Michigan State with 9 points. We'll be back with the second half of basketball in just a moment. So Michigan State with the ball to begin the second half. Here's Smallwood passing inside the boxler. He gets an easy layup. And it's now a 20-point advantage for the Spartans. But here's Gibson back into the game, getting the bucket to go. Makes it an 18-point game again. Sacramento State putting pressure on Michigan State. There's the steal. Pass inside to Foster. He's going to get the bucket to go. Sacramento State not going away in this one. And then Gibson going to be fouled by Humphreys. He'll go to the line, make both free throws. It's now a 14-point game. But then the hook shot by Sanders goes in to make it a 16-point game. And then Gibson going to get the bucket, make it a 14-point game once again. But then there's a dunk by Rodgers. So these two teams just going back and forth, which does not bode well for Sacramento State at all. Now, just over 10 minutes to go, and there's a three by Foster. He's in double figures now with 10 points to make it an 11-point game. But now here's a pass inside to Boxler, and he gets the friendly roll to make it a 13-point game once again. Then Hornsby going to pull up for three, makes it a 10-point game once again. Sacramento State just not going away quietly. And then Humphrey's going to miss from short range, and now here's Leno on the fast break, slams it down, and it is an eight-point game now. Sac State trailed by as many as 22, and then Foster now. Going to turn it over and fast break for Adelike and company. He's going to throw it up to Smallwood for the dunk. So now a 12-point game. Leno going to pull it for two, gets it to go. Now it's a 10-point game. But now midway through the second half, a nine-point deficit for Sac State. Gibson going to get the layup, however. And now Sacramento State within seven. Now within five after some free throws. They just need to stop here. They're not going to get it here as Sanders gets the three. He's up to 14 points and a half. Now a five-point game once again. Adelike from NBA range three. He's going to get it to go. And now under five minutes to go, Sacramento State is in crunch time now. Gibson gets a bucket there. He's going to get another one here to make it a four-point game with just over four minutes to go. Here's Gibson again, lays it up. Gets it to go. It's a two-point game. And now he tips it. It's taken away by Foster. So Sac State has a chance to tie or take the lead here. Foster calls for the pick. He's going to pass inside to Gibson. He gets it up, and it's good. We are tied at 59. Sacramento State erases a 22-point deficit. But now they need to get a stop here and get the ball back. Here's a swing over to Humphreys, who gets the two to go. Michigan State with a two-point lead. So now Sac State looking to tie it again. Hornsby gets the pick, passes inside to Gibson. This time he doesn't get the roll to go. And now Michigan State in transition. Adelike going to pass to Smallwood. He goes up with it and he gets the bucket to go. Now a four-point game. Now here's Foster in trouble, passes inside to Gibson. Gibson trying to throw a lob to Leno, but Leno loses control of it. That's going to count as a block. Adelike going to throw the lob to Smallwood again. And it's a six-point Michigan State advantage now. Hornsby going to throw it away now. Sanders lays it up and is good. Now an eight-point lead for the Spartans. And this game has gotten away from Sacramento State very quickly. Foster going to miss the three there. Now Humphreys with the rebound. Adelike going to pass to Sanders. He's going to get the layup. And now Michigan State with a ten-point advantage. Things are looking grim for Sacramento State now as Leno passes inside. Gibson going to lay it up. No good. Rebounded by Smallwood. He's going to foul. And this one is all but over at this point. Smallwood puts it up, banks it off the glass, and into the bucket. A 12-point advantage. And then Sac State going to turn it over again. Smallwood going to pass over to Sanders. Michigan State can pretty much just run the clock out at this point. Adelike going to get blocked, however. And Sac State is going down swinging here. Foster going to pull up for the deep three, gets it to go. It's a nine-point game. Crazier things have happened in basketball history, but Leno going to try a deep three, misses. Foster going to pass. It's back to Leno. He misses it again. And now Michigan State in transition. This one pretty much decided. Hornsby going to foul there. 
And then last few seconds, Leno gonna shoot the three and it's a goaltend by Boxler. So that goes well. Sac State steals the inbound. Maybe they can do something here. Foster for three. No good. It wouldn't have really mattered because Sacramento State has run out of time in this one. Michigan State wins this one 71 to 65. And Sacramento State's national title defense ends at the hands of the Spartans. Sanders is the player of the game for Michigan State. 18 points, 7 of 11 from the field, 2 for 3 from 3 point range. A hell of a game and congratulations to the Spartans. Mark Gibson had 24 points to lead Sacramento State, 5 rebounds, 4 steals in this one. He played great today, just didn't get a whole lot of help. Clarence Foster did what he could, 13 points, 6 steals for him and 4 assists, but 4 of 12 for shooting is not going to get the job done for Sac State. Sanders had 18 points like I mentioned, Smallwood had 13 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists and 3 steals, 4 steals for Adelike who had 9 points as well. and. It's a rough way to go out, especially because, as we all know, this series is supposed to be going on hiatus with Madden 21 coming out with me focusing more on football on the channel. But a rough loss for Sac State. Once again, congratulations to the Spartans on a big victory over the defending national champions. So with the season coming to an end, I have decided that I am going to end this series in particular. I am thinking about coming back with a created team in this game, but we'll have to see what happens with that. And I'm not sure when that's gonna happen with Madden 21 coming out and with me focusing more on Meridian and the Niners series in NCAA Football 06 and Madden 06. I had a great run with Sacramento State in this series. A lot of people really loved the series. A lot of people really loved a lot of the characters in the series. So it's really sad to see it coming to an end, but I think it's for the best. We already won a national championship, and even though we didn't win one this year, I still think winning the Natty in year two was very impressive, especially with what we had to go through in a lot of those games, especially in the tournament. But this is definitely going to go down as one of my favorite series to play, even though it kind of got stale midway through the third year before I changed the sliders up. Once I changed the sliders, it really got enjoyable. And that's part of the reason that I do want to come back to this game at some point. It's probably not going to be anytime soon. Maybe we'll do it closer to when college basketball is supposed to happen. I don't know if it's actually happening with what's going on in the world right now, but close to that time, just so you guys get a little bit of college basketball somewhere. But thank you to everybody who created a character for this series. Thank you to everybody who watched every video of the series or even watched half of the videos or even just one video. I appreciate every last one of you guys. If you guys want to see more Franchise and Dynasty content on this channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and turn your notifications on to join the notification game. That is going to do it for me though, guys. This has been Kaz from Craniac Gaming. You guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day, night, or whenever you're watching this. Like I always say, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. I love y'all 3000. I'm Audi 5000. Deuces.